Disney fam, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a very magical day today. In today's video, I'm going to be doing magic mail. Woo woo! I'm excited for magic mail. I haven't really done much magic mail on my channel. Um, it's always just been like one or two pins I've purchased, but this is like a kind of a nice collection of mail that I've either purchased or gotten somehow. So I'm really excited about that. If you are new here, my name is Rita. I put out new Disney content every week, Tuesdays through Thursdays, with a bonus video on the weekend. So I really hope that you come and join my Disney fam by hitting that subscribe button and the little no notification bell. I'll also have my Instagram handle right here for you. So you can definitely check out more Disney stuff on there. I post more like photography pictures because I really like taking photos in the parks um, and just anything Disney related really. So if you like that kind of content, Check out the Instagram. Alrighty, let's get into this because it's not a lot, but I don't want to make this video like longer than it needs to be. So here we go. Let's start. I need to make sure addresses are covered. So to be honest, I don't remember everything I got. This was kind of an accumulation the last like month or so. Um, but we'll find out right now. So really quick, what is this? Oh, how cute. Okay, so I purchased this pin. If I'm not mistaken, I think I know which one this is. Let me just take a quick look. So I can give you like a backstory to everything, right? Yeah, I'm almost positive this is this. Okay, um, so I I always go to like the Thursday releases in Downtown Disney for like the pins that are coming out. And for the this exact pin that I really, really wanted, um, my, hus my husband actually goes. I'm not the one that goes. My husband goes because he's like five minutes from Disneyland from his work. So he can go right after work real quick. Anyways. Um, this particular Thursday with the one pin out of all the pins getting released in January, this one pin that I really, really wanted, he couldn't go that Thursday. And I was like, ugh. The LE size on this pin is actually pretty large. So anyways, I was talking to Christina from Playdates and Travels like the, the next day. I think it was like Friday. And I was like, hey, did you pick up like more of these pins? I was just trying to talk to her. She's like, they sold out. And I was like, what? There was like 3,000 of them. How did they sell out? Yeah, they sold out, so I was so bummed. I was like, "Crap!" Now I'm gonna have to pay like pay some astronomic price for it, and because it's probably really popular if it's sold out the same day and with an LE of three thousand. And um, so I got all scared. I went on the Disney Kitty Facebook group, and a girl very kindly um, let me tell you her name. And a girl by the name of Julissa, I want to say I'm saying her name right, she just pretty much offered it to me um, for the price I would have paid, including shipping and maybe like a dollar more. So I was like, you know what, I cannot complain about that because somebody else was going to sell it to me for like 30 bucks. And I was like, I'm not going to have it. But look how cute it is. She gave me a little sticker, included a little sticker for me. And it actually says Hong Kong Disneyland um, on the back, which is kind of cool. So it looks like Chip with like a little mushroom hat. <laughs> look how cute that is. I actually am trying to collect some Disney stickers. I know a lot of people, especially Disney YouTubers, they have like tons of stickers, like just getting, you know, from subscriptions and mails. Like they just have like a whole storage of them. I don't really have any, so I actually want them. So send me all the Disney stickers, okay? <laughs> I'm happy with that, but that is really, really cute. Alrighty, so the pin that I've been talking about and haven't even told you is none other than, are you ready? Hold on, this is getting unpackaged. I haven't even seen it myself because it's unpacked. I just unpackaged it. Is the vinyl, the vintage vinyl one, and it's of Dumbo. Are you kidding? I was gonna miss out on this? Yeah, no, not happening. So I'm so glad I got my hands on it. So here it is. I'll take it out right now. The original price is $17.99, which I think either the pin price just went up or this is the new price because all the other pins last year were like $16.99. I haven't seen $17.99, so maybe it went up and it is a double back some people are weird they like to see the back of pins i don't know why that is but they do and they like to know how many like pin things there are in the back <laughs> it's a two pin one okay guys in case you want to know so here it is I, I haven't even oh my god oh this is gonna be so cute you guys i didn't even know how this whole thing works okay really quick here so here is the pin and it says Walt Disney Dumbo and it has Dumbo with his feather with Timothy and there's a little slider look you guys there's a little slider here oh this is it's a little hard I don't want to break it I don't know if it can go all the way hold on give me a second oh and someone's knocking on my door too hold on 
Okay, it was kind of stuck, so I pushed it all the way, and look, you guys, it's a freaking record. How cute is that, like a little vinyl? And it says Walt Disney World Dumbo. It says side one, and it has Timothy on it. Let me see if my camera's gonna capture that. Look how cute is that? I don't think it pull, it does, it could pull out a little more, but it's, get, it's getting kind of stuck and I don't wanna break it. So that's as far as I'm going to pull it out. So there's that. Hopefully I can pull it back in, there it goes. And that's how the back looks, the waffling. And this was an LE of 3,000. So like I said, 3,000 and it sold out the same day, you guys. I My husband didn't even have a chance if he was gonna go like the next day. So. That is the first pin I got, and thank you so much, Julissa, for giving to me this almost at park price um, because I really didn't want to pay more for it because I'm so local. Like, I hate paying more for something I could have gotten. But I know the exclusivity of it, but I didn't think it was going to sell it that quick. Okay, next one. This is coming from Brianna. Um, I, think, I, I think most of these were from the Disney Kitty Facebook group. Uh, so that's where I'm getting them from. And if I'm not mistaken, this is going to be one of my Cinderella puzzle pieces. I know, you guys. I know. You guys are probably tired of hearing me talk about Cinderella puzzle pieces. But I'm glad, I'm happy to report that I finished the collection. Yes, you heard that right. I finished the collection. So, here we go. Let me take it out. Give me one second. Bam! Here it is. Cinderella in her uh, pink, like, raggedy-ish kind of dress. I love these pins. They are so pretty. I just love the backing. They're just so, like, vibrant. It's like, even though it's like a dark blue, it's very, like, vibrant and shiny. I, I really like the quality of these puzzle piece pins. So, this is the one that I was missing, and I have one more, which I think is my next package. And I'm very excited to complete my puzzle. I know I've heard people, like I've talked, like when I went to my pin trading event in November, um, I did talk to people about like the puzzle pieces and a lot of them were like, oh, I don't collect puzzle pieces anymore because I just spent so much money trying to finish it. I understand that. Like if I'm ever going to do another puzzle um, collection, like series, definitely going to be really picky what I pick. I'm glad I picked Cinderella because I love this collection. I think it's beautiful. So I have no regrets at all finishing this one, but I'm gonna have to be really selective on the next one because <laughs> yeah, it's hard. Okay, that mean, that took me a second to open because that was just really hard to open. Oh, and I wanna make sure I'm not showing any addresses here. Alrighty, so this is really cute. I got a, a note in here and I got a little keychain and then I got a pin. Uh, so this is really cool. It says, Rita, I hope you enjoy your pin and I am glad I could help you finish your puzzle. And it says Kayleen. So that is really, really cute and it's just like on a little post-it. Thank you so much, Kayleen. That is really sweet of you. And she also, before I show you the pin, she also gave me this little um, Rex. Look how cute this is. I've actually opened up these little um, mystery uh, bags before. Uh, I think they're called... I don't remember. I think I call them like pixelated, which that's not what they were called, but that's just what I'm calling them. And I think I got like Mickey and Pluto. Or I got like two of them. I got Mickey and someone else. And look who she gave me. She gave me Rex. That is really, really cute. Um, so thank you, Kaylee. That was really sweet of you for saying that over to me. And then, oh my gosh, look how cute. She wrapped it in like little washi tape. I love washi tape. I am a sucker for washi tape. So let's go ahead and check out my pin. This is the final pin, you guys. The final pin to my puzzle piece. I am so happy. Like, super excited. So here we go. It is, I think his name is Duke. Um, or, yeah. And he has the glass slipper. There it is. Yes. The last piece to my puzzle. I'm so happy. Okay, so those are all the ones that I purchased like off, um, you know, people off the Facebook site. Now I have a few pins that either my husband picked up for me at Downtown Disney or I got from the Disney store um, online. Really quick, my husband was gone. Look, babe, look what I was sent. Oh, nice. Isn't that cute? That's a, uh, isn't Rex. that Rex? Rex, right? Yeah. Look how cute. Okay, I gotta include the hubby, okay? He left to go get Cornelius because he was probably crying outside like, let me in. I don't know. Are, you, are your guys' dogs the same if you have indoor dogs? Do they not like to be outside for very long? Because mine sure doesn't. Um, he wants to be in as soon as possible. Like, I did my do. Like, I did my business and I'm ready to come in. That's him. 
Okay, so I'll show you my Disney store ones first, and then I'll do the Downtown Disney one, which I think the Downtown Disney one, I think is just one, right babe? Is it just one? Yes, Okay, it is. just one, just all right. One. So the Disney store has been having like their once upon a sale, I think it's called, um, like 70% off or 60% off. And these pins were on sale. So they were normally 17, I'm sorry, $12.95 and I got them for $9.99. So it's money off is money off on pins, right? And I actually, when I saw these the first time, I actually did kind of want them, but I just held off because I was like, I don't really need them. But once they were on sale, they suckered me in. Like Disney, you always sucker me in. So I don't know if I'm gonna take them out because I've heard they're kind of hard to come out. We'll see. We'll see if we can um, get these out quickly. If not, then I'm just gonna show you them in their case. So they are, um, and it's actually backwards. So this is the front of the package, but it's actually this way. So it's the ones that were in these like corkscrew glass little bottle things. And the first one I got is the Lady and the Tramp one. You guys know I'm doing like a Disney dog collection and Lady and the Tramp is definitely high on that list of dogs that I would want. Anything Lady and the Tramp related that is dogs, I want. So it's really cute. It says together forever and it's like a pin on pin element. I'm gonna show you the next one and let's see if the hubby can um, remove this quick enough. And the next one I got, which I'm not really starting a collection of this one, but I just thought it was really cute and it does glow in the dark. Um, yes, it says I glow in the dark. Uh, so I thought it was pretty cute. And it is the, and again, this one's backwards. So I don't know what happened here. So this is the back of the packaging, but it is Little Mermaid and it's her on the rock. And from what I understand, I think me and my husband, oh, sorry, that was Cornelius. Um, from what I understand, the sky is what kind of glows in the dark. So that's really nice because then you'll get kind of like the silhouette of her while the sky glows in the dark. Okay, but are you able to get it out? He's like trying so hard. He's like, I got this, I got this. We're gonna show the people what they want. You guys should see him. He's like gorilla status, just ripping it out. You got it? Look at my husband. All right, you got another one to do. Okay, so here we go. These are really cool. Um, you know what you can use these for, you guys? Uh, since it has the corkscrew top too, you can do like uh, salt, like sea salt, like rock salt, and put it in and then close it. That's really cute, um, either to use or just even as like a little, kind of like a centerpiece thing. Anyways, that's a whole nother kind of video. <laughs> so here it is. So it says together forever. And it is Lady the Tramp. And look at how Tramp is looking at Lady. You find you a man that looks at you like late, like Tramp looks at Lady, for reals. And I'll show you the back of it right now. Give me one second. So the back, um, let's see, it just says Disney, and then there's no Ellie on it, but it looks like that. I don't think it's gonna pick up much. And here is the pin. It is so cute. All right, the next, let me just show you the Little Mermaid one really quick, because Hubby was able to get it out. So let me show you that. I'm running out of space here. <laughs> So here is the Little Mermaid one. It is really pretty, actually. I like that whole, um, the pose she's in. That's really nice. And you know what? It doesn't even say Little Mermaid. It says Part-Time Mermaid. Oh my God, that's so cute. I didn't even realize that. Um, I thought it said Little Mermaid. So it says Part-Time Mermaid. So that's even cuter. I, I even like that more. <laughs> and I'm not actually not even gonna show you the back because it's probably gonna be exactly the same. And again, the sky part is what uh, glows in the dark. So there you go. They did have a few other ones. They actually had like two other ones I really wanted, but I did control myself. I picked only what I really wanted. So those are the two out of, I think there was like five maybe of them. Um, but yeah, those are the two that I wanted. All right, and then the last pin and this one, I'm like, I'm on the fence about you guys. I like it, I kind of don't like it. I don't know, I, I, I'm on the fence with this one and I still got it. I still had Hubby go pick it up for me at Downtown Disney because I, I rather have had it than it being gone and then I, I'm like, dang it, I should have gotten it. So worst case scenario, I can sell it or do something with it, right, or trade it. So it is the Kingdom Consoles Entertainment System and I don't know if they're gonna do these for every single month, but um, this is the January one, I'm guessing, or this is the one that just got released in January, and it is Little Mermaid themed, so it is, uh, Ariel and Flounder, is there anyone else on there? No. Ariel and Flounder, and it obviously looks like a game, it has, like, your lives here, um, so she already died once or something, or she got hurt once, <laughs> and then there's, like, a little number on this side, like, points maybe, and then, um, so it's really cool, this little, um, the controller comes off, 
like as if you're playing with it. I don't know if my camera's gonna capture that very well, but it is magnet, so it just comes back on there. And then wasn't there something, oh this, um, hold on, let me take off the, the card because I think there's a slider over here, yeah. So there's like a little slider here and the game comes out. Look how cute that is, you guys. Let me try to cover my face. There we go. Look, so it's like the actual like, you know, old school games when you had to blow on it and put it back in. Yeah. What are they called? <laughs> what are they called? I don't remember what they were called. Not, they're not cassettes. Cassettes? Could be. You guys, I don't know. I'm going to call them cassettes. I don't remember what they're called, but you know, it's one of those things. And it does say um, Disney's The Little Mermaid on it. So that's really, really cute. And it actually, she's in that same exact pose that my pin is. So um, this pose right here is actually the same exact pose that's on that little, I'm going to call it cassette. You guys tell me down below what it's called. I don't remember. So there it is. I think it's really cute. I just don't know how much of a fan I am of how they actually look as a game. Like it has Ariel, how Ariel and Flounder look in like a game version. That's where I'm kind of just like, Ugh, I don't know. The concept of the pin is awesome. I love the fact that the controller comes off and the little cassette thing slides up. That's awesome. But I just don't know how, um, how invested I am as far as how they look. So we'll see. I have to keep playing with it, keep looking at it, and then I'll make my decision. Obviously, I have to see also if they come out every month with them and they start coming off really cool ones, I may just want to keep it just to keep the collection going. Okay, you guys, that is my whole magic mail for today. I really hope you enjoyed it. I am having so much fun collecting pins. My wallet is not having fun collecting pins, but I am having a blast collecting pins. Uh, I'm trying to kind of narrow my um, collection down. Obviously, based off of this video, it doesn't really look like it. However, two of the pins were just to complete my puzzle piece, so that's good. And then one of them is for my Disney dog collection. So I feel like for the most part, it's not too off. Um, I the Dumbo one I loved. I may do the vinyl ones because I think that's gonna be an awesome series if they do it. Just that vintage vinyl. I think that one is so nice. I didn't I didn't jump into pins until the very end of last year. I'm talking like um, November slash December of last year. So I missed out on like all of the all of the months like January through November pretty much of all the ones they did like the latte ones and all the other ones they did. So I kind of want to capitalize now that it's January to new year and I can collect all of them throughout the year. Okay, <clears throat> enough talking. I know, I just can keep going on forever. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below which one is your favorite. Comment down below if there are any pins in my haul here that you really, really like. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye.